Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I'm back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. I was really into like wanting to wear cozy fragrances last week, gourmand, um, rose. I was really in a rose mood last week. So yeah, I'm going to jump right in. Okay, so the first one I wore, this is Mon, per Mon Perfume Cristal from M. Mikalev or Martine Mikalev. <sighs> I love this fragrance. This is this is like sweet rose and praline. The rose still has a slightly crisp, fresh quality to it though, which is so beautiful. I just love this one. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. The praline, the praline doesn't make it too sweet. It's just a stunning fragrance. It's a beast. This thing lasts forever. You can spray it on one time and you are good for the entire day. It just performs incredibly. It's just a really, really beautiful fragrance. So if you're into like rose, um, kind of sweet rose fragrances, I think you would really, really like this one. So anyways, that is from Martine Mikalev. That is called Mon Parfum Cristal. Such a beauty. That's one that I kind of ration though. I do only wear this one a few times a year because yeah, it's, it's a special one to me. Okay, next is one that I pulled out for my last transition fragrance video, and I could not put this back until I wore it. This is Mademoiselle Rocha from Rocha, and this is such a beautiful, creamy, slightly sweet, kind of fresh rose fragrance. This has got a really prominent vanilla base, though, which makes it very, very creamy. This one is quite linear. It smells exactly like what it smells like in the bottle on your skin. So there's no surprise. There's no real, there's also no real journey with this one. What you smell is what you get with this one. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful, fresh, creamy rose that it's youthful, it's springy, but it still has a really beautiful coziness to it. Um, it's just a, it's a really, really gorgeous fragrance. I think it's really underrated too. So, um, this is a beast too. This one lasted, I sprayed it on in the morning one day that I went to work and it lasted me all throughout the day. I never reapplied another fragrance. It just lasted a really, really long time. It's a great performer for being kind of on the fresh side. So anyways, yeah. Okay. Next I wore Commodity Velvet. This is one Gosh, this is one that I adore. This reminds me a lot of Ellis Brooklyn Raven. I think I mentioned it in a video some weeks back and it's been on my mind ever since. And this one kind of reminds me of Raven. It's really beautiful. This is another rose, kind of sweet, slightly musky rose fragrance. This is also a beast. This lasts forever. Avon also makes the scent that smells like this called Velvet. Um, it's a really, really beautiful fragrance. It smells much more expensive than it actually is. And yeah, it's a really beautiful Avon fragrance. It's called Velvet as well. So they're both called Velvet. I just realized that. But yeah, the Avon one is called Velvet as well. And I have it. I've got a, a, I've got a pen spray of it. I need to get it out and test them side by side because it's very similar to this Velvet. Really, really beautiful, sweet, slightly musky, warm, cozy rose. I love it. So anyways, that is Velvet. Okay, next I tested my Camille Beckman French Vanilla Fragrance. This one, I really love this. It's got kind of a... This one has got kind of a vintage -y vibe to it. It reminds me a little bit of Tocad from Rocha or um, slightly like maybe Casimir, but... Now that I've, I guess it's because I've introduced some some oxygen to this or something, it's, it's smelling much more vanilla heavy than it did initially when I very first got it. It's starting to like deepen up or something. I don't know. I love this though. It's really beautiful. It doesn't last very long. Um, this is when you'll get maybe an hour out of before you would have to reapply. Um, I did... I wore this lotion a couple times this week just because I've been feeling this lotion. This is the Champagne Sprinkles from Bath & Body Works. This is like raspberry and, oh my gosh, it's like creamy. It, the raspberry is very, very slight in this. This is mostly like a creamy, I don't know, decadent, sugary, custardy, vanilla, 
with like a touch of raspberry, like a touch of acidic raspberry in the background. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so cozy, this fragrance is. And I layered this over this. Um, this wore off pretty quickly. These Bath & Body Works lotions aren't the best as far as um, the scent hanging around for that long anymore. But this one, you can definitely get a good five or six hours of the out of the lotion. And then I also layered a couple other uh, really yummy fragrances over this. So I've got, I'm on a Coco Pink kick again. I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Coco Pink. I can't wait to get that order so that I can haul it and share it with you guys. But I have been wearing a couple of my Coco Pink fragrances. So the first one that I wore, and I wore this one twice this week because I'm just like addicted to it. This one is called Cinder Cinderella's Carriage. And this is so good. This is yummy gourmand vanilla cake. Oh, it's so good. I'll have all the notes on the screen for you, but it's basically like a cakey vanilla, super, super gourmand fragrance. Oh, it is so good. It's super decadent smelling. It's yummy. Um, this, it lasts okay. You can get a few hours out of Cinderella's Carriage. It's not, now you can order these though. If you order a full bottle of Cocoa Pink Fragrance, you can, um, you can request what kind of a strength you want it in. And there's one that I think it's called like Smell Me Across Town, which is like the strongest. I feel like if you ordered a fragrance like this in the Smell Me Across Town strength, it would be an absolute beast, which I'm probably going to end up ordering a full bottle of Cinderella's Carriage because I'm obsessed with it. It's such a yummy gourmand cakey vanilla fragrance. I did layer it over this champagne sprinkles as well. I just smelled like a walking bakery that day or the two days that I did that because I was obsessed. And then I also wore my Come Hither. Um, Come Hither is beautiful too, but this one's a little bit more grown up smelling. It's, um, oh, I don't want to spray it because I don't want to waste any of it. Yeah, this one is so good. This one is a little bit more grown up. Still a gourmand though. Still vanilla and this one smells like it could have a little bit of a booze in it or something. I remember this one being like a lot of vanilla. It's beautiful. This is another one that, and I think this one is even described on the website as being a grown up vanilla. Oh, it is so good. I love this one. This one I wore by itself. I didn't layer it over any lotion. This is another one that I would dye for a full bottle. And the full bottles are not expensive. They're like $27 for a full bottle. And they're amazing. If you're into gourmand fragrances, you've got to check out Coco Pink. Um, they make some of the most amazing gourmand fragrances. I got another um, sample pack and these samples are so good. The samples packs are $27 for five, but these are two and a half mil samples. So you can easily get four or five wears out of each one. So you can really, really give something a good wear test to see if you want a full bottle of it. Um, they're just, they're awesome. So yeah. I love Coco Pink. I can't wait to get that order and share it with you guys. I've got some amazing scents coming and I'm so excited for them. And then last but not least, I pulled out my Sylvain Delacorte Discovery Kits again, especially the Musk one. I really, really wanted to revisit this Musk one because there, I remember there were some that I wanted full bottles of. And so yeah, I'm slowly making my way through this discovery kit again, giving every single one a good full wear test. I've only gotten through one so far, which is Dovana. Um, oh my gosh, I wore this yesterday. I wore it to my mom's. Um, I have not been doing the best lately. I, I will just admit that. And I, that's why I've really been needing really comforting fragrances. Um, there, it's kind of what has been keeping me sane is cozy fragrances and Dovana was super cozy. I wore, again, I wore it to my mom's yesterday. I was out most of the day and it was a beast. It stuck with me the entire day. It was one of those fragrances that every time I moved, I was getting a whiff of it. And it is, it was just so comforting and pleasant and like warm skin. Yeah. So Dovana has Madagascar vanilla. Um, it's got iris in it. It's got ambrette in it, which you know ambrette is just one of my favorite things. Ambrette makes fragrances so comforting for me. And yeah, I immediately opened this up. I'm definitely going to be getting a full bottle of Dovana soon. 
Um, and I feel like they're super, for being really beautiful, elegant, niche fragrances, I think that the one ounce bottle for $70 is such a good price. And you can use a discount called, a discount code called welcome, or gosh, you can use the, this is just a little secret from me. I'm, I'm, you know, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but you can use the code welcome 10 to get 10% off the bottle, which then makes it like $62. So I feel like that is such an amazing price for such a beautiful, high quality niche fragrance. Um, but yeah, Dovana is just it's such a good one. You'll probably be seeing this in what I wore videos for a while because I am gonna make my way through this entire kit. And I do remember Dovana being like my favorite. I'm pretty sure it was my favorite. Yeah, I remember loving Florentina as well as Heli Helichrys. I think those were the ones that I liked the most. I think I liked Smeraldo, but I, did, I wasn't in love with it. And Lily Yang, I don't know. I'm going to have to try them all on my skin again. But yeah, Dovana is just such a winner. It was, it's so beautiful. So anyways, guys, those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.